So uh, I finally finished upgrading my computer. So I'm going to put the specs uh, on the details of the, this video. But I'm going to show you guys how to edit a GoPro 7 footage, uh, 4K at 60 frame, uh, using a uh, DaVinci Studio. Um, as we know that GoPro 7 is using H.265 codec, or also known as HEVC. That is a very super compressed uh, video encoded. Um, it requires a lot of uh, process to edit that video. So if you have a if you have a Jeep a hardware encoder, uh, accelerated encoder, such as the G R X, the one I'm using right now is. Uh, uh, RTX, NVIDIA RTX 2070 uh, that has a HSVC encoder and decoder. So here I have a sample video in here that I shot from last week. So change. So here you see the detail that this the resolution is 4K. Uh, frame rate is 59.940, so it's almost 60 frames, and the codec uses 265. So on my old computer, every time I added this video, it it I cannot even scrap this. But look at the here, I can scrap footage easily. And when you do that, it's actually using the hardware encoder on the GPU. So even though I have a 32, 16 threads, it doesn't use that process. It used the GPU. So I'm not sure this will work on a Vega, AMD Vega, but I think um, DaVinci has more support, support on NVIDIA GPU. Um, so for another test, I'm just gonna try do some train. Do some cream. Okay, that should be now. Delete, delete, delete. Okay. Uh, before the old, on my old hardware too, when I play this, and it tried to transition from the next frame, it paused like two to three seconds before it moves. So it's really annoying, especially if you have a, you want to add audio on your video. Um, and it paused for two to three seconds. So the only way to get out of it is you need to do that uh, optimize. You need to generate an optimized media or a proxy. They call it proxy. Um, but you know that takes time. To, let's say, if, for example, I have tons of footage in here that will take time to generate. This one I don't need to. I can just drag the video and quickly edit the video without doing anything. See here, I can do the re play reverse. This doesn't even work on my previous one. It's stuttered. And I can even play twice the speed. It's still smooth. See that one? Or play reverse twice the speed again. And then, if you go to deliver, also, if you have the studio version of DaVinci and you have the NVIDIA driver, you have an option to deliver the final video result again on 265. So it's soup. It's also like it's, a, it's good to have a super compressed result and still have a higher bit rate and and less file size, especially when you're trying to upload it on the internet. So here I'm gonna try showing you, I'm gonna encode this on 4K on 80, almost matching the same as an input, input frame rate. You can add it to renders, here we go, sample to save, let's see, render it. So this is, if you look at frame rate, it's almost the same frame rate 
as in normal media. So, so the encoding time is almost close to the length of the video it will take to produce the final output. It's almost done. And 56. Okay, that's it. Let's check the final output. It should be here, sample to. Oops. Oh, I took, I used uh, QuickTime, so I'm just going to play it on BLC. There you go. This this saved me a lot of time. <laughs>